The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. I'm going to get this fixed one of these days, but it all takes a I think it's a connector, but we'll get it fixed one day. Uh, what do we have? Another excellent day with the power trading hour as always it doesn't matter where you're at uh, you could be in Alaska selling ice to Eskimos you could be in San Paulo and I'm looking for a good rhyme to go with it but I do not know uh, anyway uh, all that matters is at uh, 2 p.m. market time you're here the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we have going on today? Well, i got to get my chart up. And yes, I was raised an only child, and that annoyed my sister immensely. Um, yesterday, we had a lot of people thinking they were going to buy the bounce. Uh, I said uh, I didn't think that we had found a low quite yet. I think probably the same thing is going to happen today. There's only one thing that's probably going to make this market rise, and that's not uh, uh, Aunt Blabby from Washington, D.C. saying that there's a deal. That's going to be the bond market saying that there's a deal. Uh, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is watch the TLT. It's telling you everything you need to know. If something happens in the news, you're not going to hear it until probably 10 minutes after. In the meantime, you're going to take a small, uh, a slow and painful beating uh, if you're long. If you're short, uh, you better be on the mouse finger. And I mean, I'm, I wouldn't go to the bathroom. This is where I've seen uh, people kind of wiped out in a handful of minutes. Either that or always have some kind of trailing stop. Uh, that you know is going to execute on the way out. So a dangerous market for those not sitting in front of a terminal with a mouse attached to it and a working mouse, not one that kind of works. You better you better darn tune, uh, tootin', make sure that you can click that button because there's going to be probably five minutes between making an absolute load of cash and uh, losing a whole lot of cash on either side if you're long or short. Uh, there will be opportunities for both. Uh, I don't think that I'd want to be on the long side until uh, I start seeing some action. Uh, on the TLT, um, we need about a buck and a half higher to get out of the range. We've broken lower, the next support lower uh, level. Let's uh, pull up a chart here for that comes at uh, 138. Uh, let's go to the TLT here. Already over most of TFNN. Uh, you're down. You, you blew through with volume. You gap down through the 145.43, which is what I was looking at. Um, you had that one day move out there, but it had some decent volume. You got the follow through. Uh, you got the false break above it. Could we easily go back to 139-ish, 140-ish, uh, where that gap is? Support really starts getting firm right there. But I think there's a few things going on. One, uh, yesterday we saw uh, one of the uh, uh, Massachusetts senators uh, be uncharitable uh, to uh, the righteous uh, Chairman Powell uh, yesterday. And my guess is that he has already... Uh, through back channels or absolutely in a conversation, told them uh, that we're not going to fund uh, a lot of what you want to do with this big spending bill. And that probably uh, is what the response was from yesterday uh, from Senator Warren. Um, my guess is that he's just not going to be able to get the rest of them 
especially with a couple of them leaving, they could care less. Um, you've got to you got to know that a lot of times in the market, I'm going to say 98% of the time, uh, using technical trading is a great thing to do. There's about 2% of the time, which reminds me of exactly when I was learning to fly. They told me, uh, you know what? This is hours and hours of sheer boredom uh, with uh, seconds and occasionally minutes of sheer terror. And that's exactly what uh, is probably going to happen. We're probably going to see some kind of uh, uh, all-out nuclear flush the bombers uh, at the lows, and someone's going to get religion. Um, I talked about it with a few people that are fairly familiar with politics, and uh, their thought is that we've got a handful of bomb throwers. These people will not care whatsoever, and it's going to take a few days for these guys to come. Those people will never come to Jesus, is what he told me, uh, and uh, said that uh, what will have to happen is uh, just eventually uh, the more moderate uh, people will get together, and that will be the end of it. Of course, uh, the primary job of all politicians is getting reelected. Uh, this is not going to help a whole lot of folks. Um, but uh, certainly the idea of spending $4 trillion only to see 18% interest rates because the bond vigilantes have come to town and they don't intend to leave. They were here earlier. We saw them ride off into the sunset while everything calmed down. Uh, but they are back and in force. A lot of people uh, don't remember this. I don't think anybody in Congress uh, in the House, uh, they don't tend to be there for 30 years. Maybe there's a couple of people that remember it. The Senate, they probably all know it. They tend to be older. Um, but uh, in the 80s and 90s, it was the bond uh, vigilantes. Um, bond investors are the economy's bond vigilantes, Yardini uh, once declared. So if the fiscal and monetary authorities won't regulate the economy, the bond investors will. The economy will be run by vigilantes in the credit market. As Yardini letter, uh, later spelled out, by vigilantes, I mean investors who watch over policies to determine whether they are good or bad for bond investors. If the government enacts policies that seem to be or uh, ready to reignite inflation, Yardini elaborated the vigilantes can step in to restore law and order in the wild, wild west of the markets and the economy. Um, as I said yesterday uh, and earlier in the spring, um, this is probably a useful idea. There's no club that I go to meet at. You know, there's no uh, thumb in my nose as a sign that I'm uh, part of the Illuminati that is the bond market. Um, but it is 12 times bigger than the, uh, at least, 12 times bigger than the uh, equity market. And why the, uh, the Fed has been able to kind of uh, move the markets by making the, uh, uh, the equities look good, I don't think they stand a snowball's chance in 80s if uh, the bond guys get to us out. We'll be back after this. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we return, it's for another episode of History. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And on this day in 2008, after Congress failed to pass a $700 billion bank bailout plan, the Dow Jones Industrial Average falls 777 points. Most people don't know. They always think 666 is the sign of the devil. Well, they got the translation wrong. It's 777. At the time, the largest single-day point loss in history, down 7%, a greater loss than uh, 684 on September 17, 2001, first day post-11. The S&P 500 also suffered its biggest one-day loss since the 1987 crash, dropping 8.8%. And the NASDAQ fell a mere 9.1%, its biggest single-day point loss in eight years. So uh, kind of a good time to find, uh, you know, the air pockets out there. Of course, uh, very few uh, passengers with their seats in the full upright and uh, locked positions, much less uh, their tray tables up and their seat belts on. Um, somebody said earlier in the day, in fact, a couple of the dinners said, I'll take the opposite side of the trade that this gets solved very quickly. Um, I would also say... That, you know, we saw a little bounce earlier in the day when uh, Chuck Schumer said, we're going we're gonna to come together. We're going to do it. Of course, uh, like I said then to one of my subscribers, don't believe anything they say. You never could. But on this specifically, you will see it in the TLT when they come up with a deal. 143.93, by the way, on that TLT. Now, can you have some bounces Will a lot of people trying to be get out there in front of this? They will. My guess, though, is if we don't have a deal overnight, we're probably going to have another big 50-point drop in the morning. And that would be beautiful. I think that would wake everybody up in Washington, D.C. I don't know how long that goes on and when uh, the bomb throwers, of which, what, uh, most of them don't have a uh, the brain of a goat, one married her brother. I mean, these aren't. These aren't your uh, high thinkers. Uh, so my guess is whatever position they are uh, and they have, they're probably 
uh, married to it. So I'm going to say that it's going to take a greater amount of people than it has in the past to get these people all together. Uh, and, of course, uh, eh, nothing like uh, politics. It's like herding cats. It's tough to begin with, much less when we have uh, people that are true believers in something. Uh, it becomes very tough to find out that Congress, uh, in all politics, is all the art of compromise. And uh, if you're a radical, uh, there is nothing uh, in the world about compromise. It's uh, we got to get what we want. So we'll have to wait until those folks, and there's probably radicals on both sides uh, if you listen uh, to uh, people got into uh, it fairly deep. I feel like I would have to take a shower if I did. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to look at the TLT. I don't think uh, technicals anywhere else really matter a whole hill of beans. We're probably going to see a close much like we saw yesterday, which everybody's assuming the deal's going to come through. It gets to about 3.30, and guess what? There's no deal, and we're going to, we're going to exit stage right and find another one. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else do you have? Uh, I'm always on. Uh, just letting some, okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a day when we in the past have had some fairly large losses. In fact, uh, when I was getting started full time was 98. And uh, I remember, I want to say it's October 18th or 20th or something, uh, when we were down miserably and uh, the Fed president, uh, Greeny and Rubin. Yeah, it was Rubin, wasn't it? Came out midday. And uh, back then, 500 points was like 2,000 points in the Dow or more, maybe 2,500 points. Anyway, we were down kind of the equivalent of 2,000 points. By the end of the day, we were up 2,000 points in today's numbers. If those, if you weren't around, then you really can't. It's hard to figure out. Uh, but certainly uh, there was yelling, screaming, and gnashing of teeth. Dogs and cats living together, real wrath of God stuff. Um, so, yeah, I know everybody loves their loves their movie references, like me. So uh, that's kind of it. We're going to start looking at some charts. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648, and uh, we'll look at some other stuff. Okay. Hey, didn't know about that. I know about this. So uh, the first question up is M uh, R N A M N R A. And of course, this is uh, going to be part of a political football. If I typed it right M. Oh, I didn't. Don't know why this one's so hard for me to type, but it is M R N A. There we go. Uh, modern era. Um, this is a real hard one to handicap. Um, I saw earlier that they're trying to uh, put in any kind of reconciliation bill uh, and budget uh, cap a, uh, a uh, the ability to fine employees uh, employers up to seven hundred thousand dollars for uh, uh, non-vaccination compliance. Um, there's a lot of lawsuits in that. The uh, biggest problem is that the only a uh, vaccine that today is actually FDA approved is one that you can't get. And we've gone through the legal uh, mumbo jumbo of as soon as there is a approved vaccine that is available, then the other ones have to be taken off the market. So I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do the handoff, uh, but it does become very problematic in that everybody I've uh, look to uh, for guidance in the FDA and uh, the people that write a, a great deal about this say that as soon as you have an approved drug, any of the ones on emergency are not allowed to be sold anymore. So I don't know how long does this go. One of the problems with it is if you want to force people to take a vaccine, then it has to be uh, available and it has to be FDA approved. So a lot of what people have been yelling and screaming about um, doesn't hold legal water so far. You might get a judge or a few hacks at the lower end of the judicial scale uh, to uh, go along with it for a day or two, 
But by the time it starts hitting appellate courts, uh, everything I've seen is radically um, a, a loss. In fact, the last 18 times the uh, that OSHA tried to do this, they from 1970 lost in every single account. So I don't know. I mean, it would be very good for um, you know these vaccine companies to be mandated. I don't know how the handoff actually works. And I don't think anybody else has explained it yet either. You need enough of the Pfizer, that you can wait, but you need to get the other guys approved. Um, it's a mess, a mess. We'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. I'll try to find a link. I know I'm always on. you got to let the music play a little bit. Don't get all antsy and everything. Just calm down. It'll be okay. So, uh, you know, when we have this kind of bumper, there's no clear fade out on it. You just let it go for a little while. Anyway, uh, what else do we have here? Oh, we were looking. I got a question about Google. Um, Google uh, decided to take down all the uh, Russian television uh, channels. Um, 
I knew something was getting ready to come up because uh, employees uh, in Russia from uh, uh, YouTube and Google's divisions were getting uh, beat up by uh, some Putin thugs uh, out on the streets. Uh, they were hunting them down and uh, tormenting them at home. So I figured something was going on. They must have given uh, the Putin folks a head up. Or maybe Putin just knew from uh, uh, looking through their email. I'm sure he's got pretty good intelligence over there, especially in Moscow. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Google, of course, uh, also is uh, putting, I'm going to have to say, rather uh, uh, strict policies that Putin would approve of on free speech here in the United States. I can't actually say the word or we'll be banned. Isn't that, uh, isn't that kind of uh, Orwellian in its own right? Uh, but um, the question I'd have is what is the response from Putin? Uh, in the past, when uh, people have ticked him off, uh, he's bumped them off. I wonder if uh, we see uh, any, uh, any stronger methods uh, in the near future of him doing it. My guess is eventually YouTube this gets kicked out of Russia. Uh, but uh, he's not generally one to take it lying down. Uh, I don't know if it really bothers uh, the uh, price of Google as much as uh, probably sleeping with one eye open, uh, even if you are spending 15 or $20 million a year for security. Uh, my guess is if uh, Putin says he wants you dead, um, your life expectancy is probably pretty short. And the fact that he was already beating up employees last week makes me think that he may uh, he may be willing to go to the mattresses on stuff like this in the future. But uh, you know what? This is always a problem. Um, and of course, the week before last uh, in Russia, they, they threw him a fig leaf by making sure that his competitor couldn't be on YouTube, taking his channel down. So kind of hard to figure out where YouTube's really trying to fall here. Um, I mean, they capitulated two weeks ago, and today they stuck a thumb in his eye. Um, other countries like Hungary are already starting to uh, have laws. I don't know how much longer uh, YouTube and Google are going to be allowed in Hungary, but uh, I think they've already passed the bill on that. And, of course, uh, you know, if you can control uh, the... Uh, the politics of a country by saying and what uh, what is allowed to be said, um, you know, I, I think you got to expect some pushback uh, from tyrants uh, and maybe even non tyrants about what's going on. Um, but uh, certainly, it, this is kind of like getting involved with a mob. I never liked it. Um, they eventually just run you broke and burn down your restaurant, as we saw in uh, Goodfellas. That's generally how it works out. You just don't want to be around them to begin with. I don't know if there's that much money in Russia anyway, but uh, my guess is it uh, escalates, doesn't de-escalate from very long. As far as if you just looked at the chart, didn't know anything about the background of anything else going on, you've got two gaps. Um, this is the, you're right at what should be fairly steep support uh, with this gap higher. And that's on the 28th of, uh, what is that, uh, February. No, February. 28th of July, he said correctly. Uh, 4.7 million shares. You've got less than a million shares in here. So it's not like that. But my guess is generally what you have in these, um, I've heard them called uh, paper cuts. And that is the longer uh, that we don't have resolution in the broader markets, even these with lighter volume continue to tick down. Um, okay. Hey, Mike loves Robert Barnes too. Uh, anyway, uh, probably legally there hasn't been a better uh, source for uh, lawsuits, and he's uh, he's kind of a bomb thrower of a different kind. He uh, just sits around and takes big lawsuits. Uh, for uh, more civil rights kind of cases. Uh, but uh, generally, he knows where all the bodies are buried, knows where to go after them. And he's won almost all of his cases. Yeah, viva la Barnes. Yeah, 
great, great resource. There's some others on YouTube that occasionally uh, get uh, pushed out, but um, great discussions, and they have uh, uh, debates from both sides, bring in people that uh, don't uh, agree with them. But uh, certainly, if you want the legal version of a lot of this stuff, there's a kind of a political and, and then the eventual uh, ruling of a judge. And uh, if you uh, go through, especially his uh, debates uh, with, uh, God, what's the guy's name I'm thinking about? I'll think about it in a minute. Uh, but he's the, uh, he's the old professor from Harvard Law that taught everybody for the last 50 years. I'll think about him in a minute. Uh, anyway, uh, there are three things that really matter in the market. There's the legal, the political, and the financial. Generally, the political and financial tend to be smaller parts of uh, the overall market. Uh, in the rare cases, like today, though, um, I think that they are the only thing that rules. Okay, let's come back here and look at it. Update. And we're kind of just stuck at this level here where I, everybody's hiding out. Uh, 143.93 on the uh, TLT. Uh, got a question on the dollar where that is headed. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, come on. Come up, Mr. Dollar Chart. Uh, well, you know, I, even I had a hard time thinking that we'd get above 94 in the dollar, uh, 94.33. It's the last tick. We got to 94.45. Uh, and, of course, that continues to put pressure on um, things like gold. Um, 17.24 right now, down 13.50. Uh, again, like I said, probably the best thing you should own is gold. And as soon as this turns around, my guess is that, that will be the same thing again. Uh, but generally, in a declining market, you want to give it about two weeks before gold turns around because it's one of the easier things to sell. And then it becomes important to to, to own. But uh, I don't know if we're going to get that long of a downtrend. My guess is we will get this solved, but it'll probably be Friday or Monday. If it doesn't get done Friday, my guess is they'll goof around all the time until Monday. So... Uh, as they say, wait for the whites of their eyes. I don't see a lot of reason to, to be playing Frogger out here in traffic unless you uh, have a small time horizon and a fast mouse finger. Dershowitz, yes, that's him. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we uh, come back, it is uh, eh, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, still up 26 uh, points on the uh, S&P. Um, volume about 7.7 .7 billion shares. Um, so we got some volume, but like I said, uh, I'm going to say two things. Watch the TLT. You see that thing back above 145.50, 146. We're probably out of the woods. Uh, every day that uh, they don't come to an agreement on uh, the, uh, on the uh, uh, what is it, the, not, there's two things really, but the, the budget, not the budget cap, the spending cap uh, gets extended. My guess is we're going to see that continue to move down. We're going to see the same thing, people moving into cash, and my guess why the dollar is uh, so strong. And uh, we're going to see uh, gold weakening. And we're going to see a massive return uh, to the normal as soon as it's settled. But you're sitting there with a hand grenade uh, in your hand all the time um, when that news comes out. You're going to, like I said, you're going to have to be very fast. My guess, though, is it isn't settled early for the reasons said earlier. Uh, and uh, that's it. We're just going to sit here and stew. And the, the, some of the worst markets I've ever been in uh, for uh, being bearish have been like this, i.e. nothing's happened. Uh, no one decided to act. And then finally, after everything blows up, uh, everybody kind of stands around and looks at each other and goes, well, we maybe, maybe we should do something now. And then that is taken off the table. But uh, in the meantime, the damage continues to be done. Now, maybe we close a little higher today. Uh, maybe they're pushing some stuff around, but uh, I, I'm kind of looking at that TLT as the northern star uh, in what we're doing here. And as it continues to go lower, uh, I think that a lot of people trying to get in front of this are just looking at yet another gap down tomorrow. So, I'm, you know, if you play this for today, I don't have a problem with that, uh, but I would want to be out by the close just in case you don't get the deal that everybody's promising you. And, uh, eh, that's kind of it. Uh, okay, some other questions out here uh, for what's going on. Uh, you talked about SNAP being the best house in a bad neighborhood. So we'll look at that very quickly. Uh, two, 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 okay. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of these things look like they could come back. Man, you would love Snap back at about 67.50. Uh, everybody would be screaming and hollering, and that would be great. Okay. Um, you know, the problem is every one of these is just going to turn around as soon as we get a real deal. They may even bounce on a fake deal, but they're probably not going to find the kind of people they really want until we get a re the real deal out here.
kind of up where we were yesterday when it all turned south uh, in the last 30 minutes with market on close orders, as uh, John from Philadelphia said in the din yesterday. You got to watch out for those. That gives you a good indication of what the uh, big street guys are thinking about. But uh, that's it. So anyway, SNAP uh, 6750. Uh, best house in a bad neighborhood. Uh, we look at uh, fascist book. Um, you know, you're down here. You did get uh, a little lighter volume than we've seen in the past. Uh, but yesterday uh, did kind of, I mean, you had, you could look at it two ways. You can look at the heavy volume on the 22nd of September as being 4.4, uh, 44 uh, million shares. Uh, and being retested by 21 million shares. But what you should have done is had a move back above the three by three or nine day today to confirm that. Um, you get lighter volume, you get no uh, bounce. You wanna keep a look at it. Two, you're still going against fairly light volume at that July 20th low at 334.50. Uh, these guys uh, will face a lot of headwinds uh, my guess is by the time we get into uh, late October and early November, we're going to see all those antitrust suits come out. And uh, I don't think the people on Wall Street uh, are naive uh, to know that those are coming too. How well they're going to work is another problem. But, uh, you know, if you're a CEO of Facebook, um, you're going to look at spending half your time like Bill Gates did in 2000 in defending this. Maybe uh, you're less of a narcissist than he was, but uh, I'm banking on Zuckerberg being more of a narcissist uh, than uh, Bill Gates was. Uh, other things uh, going on. That means that they will not do well in, uh, in depositions, which uh, they actually show uh, a lot of people the uh, deposition uh, that uh, Bill Gates did uh, and the one that Jerry Lewis did as stark reminders of how to handle yourself uh, when you're talking uh, to opposing counsel. Uh, but uh, uh, I do digress. Uh, get it to play it again. Okay, uh, we are coming back uh, to, to uh, what else do we have here? Uh, question about AMD. Um, I like AMD down and around here. I think you could get 99 again. Uh, the problem you have today is the volume's a little high. Um, it's going to exceed the September 20th low. So maybe you get uh, 92, 93 over the next couple of days. I mean, if you're a, a trader and you have a little bit of patience, I think you want all this stuff to drag out for a handful of days. You want it to just sit there and be the proverbial paper cut. That is one where you, it's not much, but it hurts. And you know what? It just continues. You can't make it stop. It just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. Um, ideally, 92 would be uh, the Mount Rushmore of uh, buys, I think, on AMD. Uh, as long as you have the volume kind of remain low here, uh, it's not horrific. You're just in the doji of yesterday. And again, we get a deal, a real deal tonight, not a rumor of a deal, not Schumer coming out and saying he's got a deal. Uh, but we see that TLT bounce probably two bucks. Uh, I think that will be the time to tell you that it's time to get back and be active buying and being long. Uh, mostly everything handling or holding fairly good here today. So everybody's going to be, eh, you know what, maybe I'll hold for another day. I just suspect that everybody thinks it gets done tonight and it doesn't. And we gap down one more time. Uh, that one would really, I would really like, I, I'm not predicting it, I'm just saying, that it's more than likely, not guaranteed, that you get back down and blow everybody out that's been buying here for the last couple of days. Get them to just toss their cookies right at the point where uh, the market is higher. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And uh, others out here at TSLA. Hey, getting close, getting close. Um, I like this uh, above the uh, 780 level for a possible short. You got three days out here. Uh, I would look at any close underneath uh, the three by three as a sign that you want to short this. Now, this is uh, always a little different uh, kettle of fish uh, than the rest. And that is um, that you get people that short it in the morning and get forced out in the afternoon a lot. There's a lot of people that are known as, what, Tesla haters or non-believers or all the other stuff, uh, Tesla deniers. Um, you got a lot, a lot of competition coming. Uh, you've got some really bad news uh, in uh, what people think of Tesla in China, although they're still selling. Uh, it's still kind of a, a signal. My guess is that that won't last very long, and any kind of blow up, uh, dust up between the United States and China means that uh, all of Tesla factories, which are actually financed by the Chinese themselves, uh, will all be repossessed almost instantly, and uh, Musk can go over there and complain all he wants. Uh, he may just uh, not come back and just uh, disappear like a lot of the other big magnets uh, that uh, eh, 
like I said, uh, kind of leaning more to the political side than the capitalist side of China right now uh, for the leaders of the country. So uh, keep an eye on that. Other things going on uh, as we go into the break is that um, I'm pretty much focused on the TLT. It's down 13, 14 cents, no big deal. But that dollar is going to start hollering pretty soon. Sell when you can, not when you have to. Make sure you have stops in. See you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.